what is up YouTube in this video we will look at Google's natural language API also I'll give a small demo on how you can easily use this with Python so the natural language API uses deep learning to extract meanings out of natural text which is very similar to how humans do it in order to understand natural language processing let's look at a few examples the first thing you would have noticed is whenever you go onto a website maybe like a Chinese website or maybe a website which is in a different language you can easily see there's an option for you to convert that text into English so behind the scenes it's actually using the same technology which Google offers under its API services so before we move into the details on what can you do with this powerful API let's look at how you can easily use it with Python and include it in your workflow so as a small demo I'm going to show how you can quickly use it with one of the existing client libraries so first of all you would need to do you would need to go into the cloud console so cloud.google.com make sure you have a cloud account plus you would need billing enabled so you click on console so make sure the natural language API is enabled in the cloud marketplace once you click on enable it kind of works for you and then the next as a next step go into credentials and then the service account within credentials you can go and click on create credentials click on creating a service account so you can give it a name after you click on done you can log into the natural language key uh, natural language service account after that you can go into keys click on add key click on create a new one make sure you select the JSON one once you click on create it's all automatically downloads in your system all right once you have the key in place you would need to expose it as an environment variable so the way you can do it you can just do an export in the terminal or in a Jupyter notebook which is cell and then the next step you will need to install this pip library for you to use and then as a next step just import the language v1 from google.cloud and create a constructor of the language service client and as a next step you will need to uh, put in the text you want to analyze I'm using this sample text on Google itself and then with that you will need to call you, you would, uh, and from that you would need to create a, a document object from language v1 library so once you create a document object you will need just need to pass the text the type of text which is like just plain text just call the analyze sentiment function pass in the document object and then get that the sentiment score after I call the analyze sentiment I am able to get the sentiment core score for the text so similar to this you can use other functions available with the uh, language client object which is analyze entity sen entity sentiment the sentiment which we already use syntax annotate the text classify the text and yep there are a lot more but yeah, these are the main ones you can easily use all right so now we're done with the example let's look at the underlying components of the API and see what things you can do with it one of the first component is entity extraction so entity extraction is the process of segmenting a sentence and extracting out entities such as name place organization etc so the next component of this API is syntactic analysis syntactic analysis or syntax analysis recognizes the proper arrangement of words it could be very similar to what grammar uses behind the scene it looks at the relationship between different words in the sentence and kind of figure out the syntactic relationship between them so the next one is semantic analysis semantic analysis analyzes the piece of text in kind of a context free form it tries to look at related concepts within the structure and try to figure out what exactly the text is about so the next one is sentiment analysis this can be very important in a lot of use cases especially to know about the underlying human sentiment behind the text it kind of gives a score of the sentiment emotion and also gives some kind of polarity value if it's like a positive sentiment or a negative one now that we have covered the main components of the NLP API let's also try to understand a few more sub components of the syntactic and semantic APIs so the first component is tokenization so as a part of tokenization what it does it kind of breaks the sentence into small tokens so let's say if there's a sentence this website isn't working so the tokenization breaks the sentence and simplifies it into this website is not working so the next one is parts of speech tagging Part of speech tagging or POS tagging is the process of creating a POS category for each token in the text to understand the meaning. Verbs, adjectives, nouns, pronouns, 
conjunction, prepositions, etc. Next one is depending parsing. The dependency parser examines how some words are dependent on each other. The next one is text classification. The process of interpreting the meaning of unstructured text, putting it into a specific categories. Another one is NER, named entity recognition. This looks at underlying entities, name or locations or regions, etc. The text kind of mentions popular locations or even people names. It's easily able to identify those kind of things under that. Now that we have looked into different components, let's look at the benefits. As a whole, natural language processing, which is kind of automating a lot of this human task, which is reading text and understanding it, can help a lot of people in different professions, such as writers, content creators, marketers, etc. It can be also used to make consumer-based product to make lives easier, such as Grammarly. So there are a lot of products which can be made around the natural language processing. So there would be a lot of benefits. The first one would be automating manual tasks. So there can be a lot of manual text-based tasks. In the past, these would have been done by teams of people where you kind of outsource this. These tasks can be automated in an easy way just by using these simple APIs. The next one would be classification of information in near real time. So for example, if you have some kind of information coming over, for example, if you have this Twitter bot that's leading all the tweets in the world, if you want to figure out the sentiment of people around a single concept, an API like this could be really helpful in that sense. To conclude this video, I would say it is really safe to say this natural language API from Google can be really helpful to solve a lot of real world use cases. All right, if you gained any value out of this video, definitely hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me a lot to promote my videos to people like you. Hope you like this video. See you in the next one.